I've never had a time in my professional life where Americans have been more concerned about their own self-protection. Hey, one of the more popular videos that I did was Hollywood's best uh, movies for self-defense. And I, you know, I, I showed you history of violence and uh, Eastern um, promises. I uh, talked about, you know, some of the, some of the movies that I thought were very useful that could teach you something useful about the tool of violence um, in very stark terms. Uh, I've been asked about TV um, because there are a lot of TV shows and there are a lot of, uh, you know, in the last couple of years, you know, HBO started it, but now there are a lot of series that are out that are very stark, very adult um, and really show, you know, very credible acts of violence, meaning mimicking what real violence looks like. Um, but not a lot of them have what this particular show that I'm going to share with you has. And that is actual, you know, where you can actually learn about strategy and why this character uses violence the way he uses it. Now the story is, or the show is called Mr. In Between. It is a show again out of Australia. So, uh, it is, you know, Australian accents, but it, it's easy to follow. This guy is a criminal. Uh, he also has a military background. They're very vague about his abilities and where he got it. You know, he's done prison time. Um, but he's very, very comfortable with, uh, with violence and how he uses it. So I've selected one scene that's real quick. And I just want to show you how you see an act of violence. And then later on, he talks about why he did what he did. Um, so let's just get into it and it'll give you a taste of why I think this is a show worth watching. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to set it up. He's here. He's sitting here with his girlfriend. They just went into a little bodega, got some food. They're about to back out, and some guys are parked behind them. And an incident happens. Bug versus bug. I'm obsessed with it. Last night they had, they had two spiders. They had this like, jumping spider and a spitting spider. And the jumping spider he attacks the other one and jumps on him, but he misses. Mm. And the spitting spider, he then shoots out this kind of like... Now, one thing I think is really cool in this subtle thing, see how interested she is in the violence between the two bugs? She, she's fascinated by it. She says how she can't stop watching it. Then she's about to see some violence. It's just very interesting when you see the juxtaposition of this. What are those idiots doing? Having a good old fucking cheat chip. Again, this is a very adult uh, series. Uh, language, uh, you know, is in there. It's, it's very stark. So I just want to, you know, just make sure of everybody. I know some people are sensitive to uh, cuss words, but uh, it really adds to the authenticity. And this is how uh, the criminal element talks. Uh, okay, we go. What's your problem, dude? What's my problem? Oh. I can give you one of those, you oh. fucking little turd. Oh. Yeah, you better run, you fucking cocksucker. Oh. Hey? Hey? Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. So what happened? What did he see? He saw these guys pulled in. Um, he beeped the horn. And they took offense to it. They started, you know, yelling expletives at him. They get out of the car. And what does he do? He, he goes up. Here we go. He knows right away he has to take action. He understands what's about to happen. He also understands what strategy he needs to use, which he's about to explain. Why did he do what he just did? Um, his girlfriend's going to ask him. So we'll fast forward to that. She's very upset by the violence, obviously. But now she's going to ask him questions about why. Hey, hey, can we talk? Yeah, what's up? What happened today with those guys? It's, it's kind of really bothering me. Hmm. Um, I mean, I know they were being assholes, but. Hmm. Like, you were really violent, and it bothers me. What was I supposed to do? I just feel like you could have, you could have at least tried to talk to the guy, you know? Maybe tried to defuse the situation. 
Yeah. But uh, that would have given his partner time to get out of the car. And then I'm dealing with two assholes instead of one. I mean, one on one, yeah, sure. But uh, two on one, it's just too risky. And you're there, I don't want you getting hurt, so. Chill, sure. yeah. Okay. So what's interesting about this, and I'll go back to uh, the main uh, screen here. What's interesting is, did you see the interaction between him and her? Like she, she really tried to, to understand why he was doing it. And he very quickly, you know, yes, it wasn't an avoidable situation. It probably was, you know, did he have to beep his horn? Probably not. But that said, once it happened, he immediately understood what was going. He said, oh, two people. I have to take out the first guy. I have to put an injury on him right away so I can even the odds because he understood what was due. What it, so he didn't waste any time. He got right into it right away. And in his mind, all those things are going. I want to make sure my girlfriend's okay. How do I best protect? Well, I best protect by making sure I can take these guys out. And you'll notice they didn't put up much of a fight after. They were very aggressive until actual violence happened, and then they got out of there. Again, this is a very, I had to be very careful which ones I picked. This is one of the tamer ones. There's great information in this series. It goes for three series, um, you know, and it, it's really worthwhile uh, from a strategy standpoint. It's entertaining. Um, again, it, it's violent, you know, so it's not the most pleasant thing. But this guy's use of the tool of violence and his explanations um, that come in throughout the series of how he sees things. There's a lot of great strategy information in that. And there's just a lot of great stark information about the realities of violence. So I think it's one of the most underrated TV shows when it comes to, you know, self-defense uh, information. I don't hear too many people talking about it um, in that way, but I think you'll really enjoy it. Especially if you like what, what we put on this channel and you like the way we look at the subject, I think Mr. In Between will not only entertain you, but also add to your quiver with some really st- you know, just straightforward, whoever the writers are, did a very, very good job of, uh, you know, explaining how criminals think, how violence is used, and how sometimes it is the only answer. And it's it's very, very well done. So again, it's one of those, I think it's one of those underrated gems that are out there. And if you're looking for a good series, I think it's on Hulu, all three series is on there now. Uh, it is an FX show. Um, but, uh, you know, you can get it, you know, on reruns right now and uh, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think. So until next time, stay safe, subscribe, go to timlarkin.com, get your free masterclass where we can actually start putting a self-defense strategy together for you and share this information. Please let people know about this channel. So all the best.